Hello everyone, we are here today to learn how to create programs in the Microsoft PPM services. And when I say creating a program, I mean creating a master project that will contain a certain number of sub-projects. All of these sub-projects also may have uh, cross-project dependencies. In other words, a task from the one sub-project may be linked to the task from another project. So we're considering two methods of creating a program. And the difference between them is how to create the project sites for all of our projects, or more precisely, where these project sites will be stored in our site collection. The first method is that every project site is separate, uh, just like a common project site for a common project uh, in our portfolio. And the second one is that every sub-project's project site is a sub-site of master project's project site. So, if you want to create master projects in the project online you need to enable one feature in the service settings so you can go there click in here in the quick launch or you can just hit this gear button gear icon and go to the PWA settings and then you need go to additional service settings and uh, check this option here allow master projects to be saved and published check this option and click save and now you're ready to create master projects in the project online so let's start with the first method when every project site will be separate so first of all we need to create our sub project let's go to the project desktop connect to our PWA account, it's sandbox here, okay. And now we create new project. So let's add some tasks. Let's link them. Okay, so now we need to save this project to the cloud. So save as I will I am already connected to my PWA account so I can save the project directly. So let's name it a sub project one. Click save. Okay, and now we can publish it to the cloud. Publish. So here uh, we need to create a project site for our uh, project and we will create it just under uh, our root site out on the sandbox and click publish. So now we need to create two more sub projects but I have them already created so Mm, I will just create a master project now. So click File, New, Blank Project. And now we need to add our sub projects to this master project. To do this, uh, we need to go to the Project tab and click Insert Sub Project. Here on the Enterprise Projects, uh, we need to select Show me the list of all projects and add our sub project, sub project 1, sub project 2, and sub project 3. So click the project and insert. And two more. Okay, we've added our sub projects to the master project. We can expand them. Okay, so now we need to save our master project to the cloud. Save. 
So here we need to save all of our sub projects. So let's click yes to all. It will save the first, the second and the third projects. Okay, so now we will publish our master project and create the project site. We'll wait for 100% complete. Okay, successfully. So let's go to the, our project online and check our master project. Let's click projects and we'll go to the project center. Okay, here's our master project, but we don't see our sub projects here. So if you don't see them, then go to the projects tab and check this option here the sub projects under show hide group and now we can see our sub projects here so the second method is a little bit trickier the thing is that the project site is being created when you publish your project and the enterprise master project can be created only when the sub projects are already in the cloud and we need our sub projects project sites to be created as sub sites of master project site. So we need to publish the master project first. So let's do this. Let's go to the project desktop. Let's close these projects. Close. Yes, check in. Okay, so let's create a uh, new sub project here okay let's link them and now we need only to save this uh, sub project to the cloud but not publish so let's name uh, sub one save only saving and not publishing okay so there is another way to create a master project uh, from our sub projects so we need to open for editing all of our sub projects a sub 2 so I've already created two more. Check out. And open a sub three. And check out. Okay, now we have three sub projects opened in the project desktop and now we can go to the view tab and uh, click new window here we need to select all uh, all our sub projects and click ok and project desktop creates a temporary master project so that's uh, just what we needed we needed a master project and now we can save it and publish to the cloud so file save as a master save yes to all And when it saves, you can publish it. Publish. And create a project site. Publish. OK. 
Okay, our project is published. So let's close it. Let's check it in. Yes. Okay, so we now now we need to publish our sub projects. Let's go and publish it. And here we need to create a project site for our sub project as a sub site for our master project. So let's go here and select our master project. But okay, we don't see it here. And if you don't see the master project here, so just go to the project web app, refresh the page. and open your master project okay okay so now let's go back to our sub project cancel file publish subside and now we can select our master project okay so it will be created under a master project site not just under the root site publish the second one as a subside for a master project publish and the third one create a subside for a master publish published published and I think it, I think it's published so let's go to our project web app and refresh here So let's open a master project which was created uh, with the first method here and the sub project from the first method here and the master project from the second method here and the sub project from the second method here. So let's go to the project side, project side, project side. And project site. Here we can see that our master project is stored under the root site, under the sandbox, and the sub project for this master project is also stored under under the root site. And the master project from the second method is also uh, stored under the sandbox, but a sub project. From the second method is stored under the master projects project side but not under the root side so okay uh, i think uh, that's it hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and if you have any questions please feel free to put comments below thanks bye